Alright guys, so here's your next update. Now I'm going to talk you through what, it, what I've done and then I'm going to show you. Alright, so first thing I did was in this team scene, I fixed a bug we had that was screwing with the timing. And it was making it to where everything was jumping instead of lerping, uh, linear interpolation. And uh, it was also jumping too early. I've got it all under control now and everything's working perfectly. Um, Moving on to the next scene, uh, next two scenes, I actually closed off some areas to help us save our jumping frames per second. Now we were jumping between 45 and so I think it was 67. Now with us having it closed off and only utilizing certain aspects of the fire station and the burning house, that you know, being it's just a demonstration, uh, we are now running between 90 and 100 frames per second. So uh, we're perfect. Uh, we're ready to push forward into the next uh, part of layer two. Now, I also added a skyline. We are going to utilize the skyline. Um, it's going to help with the environmental portion of the background. It's also going to uh, help us keep our frames per second correct. Now, um, it's kind of dark. I want to set it at dark time because I want to kind of, you know, have some lighting effects and, and some VFX stuff like that inside, of, you know, to show off and stuff. So um, it's going to be dark. I had to obviously rebake the navigational meshes and then I had to create a point light system for each one just so we can move around and get around. Now everything's running real smooth. Uh, everything's going good. Uh, I'm going to walk you through in the video and show you. I opened up all the doors and I closed off stuff, stuff like that, which you'll see. And um, we're ready to push into the next step, which uh, once you see, you know, the video, you'll, you'll see what I'm talking about when I say we're getting ready to move, add props. Uh, we're going to add more NPCs. We're going to add NPCs, which uh, I'll talk more about that when we're inside of it. And then we're going to start messing with code and uh, VFX slash particle systems. Now, uh, we are moving at a rapid pace. Everything's moving, you know, pretty, pretty solidly, you know, pretty, pretty smoothly. Um, one thing I'm trying to avoid is doing what's called multi-threading. All right, now, if I do multi-threading, that is, I can do it, but it's way too uh, complex for a demonstration. That would be something that would have to be done uh, in the actual uh, simulations that are ran, you know, after everything's said and done. So... I'm trying to keep everything simple and small just to show what it's capable of and what we can do with it. Now, um, that being said, let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, so um, like I said, I had to mess around with some of the code and it's actually working a lot better now. Um, everything is running controlled instead of, uh, we had a bug in here that was making it jump and stuff like that. Now, that water, I'm not liking it. So what we're gonna do is I've got another program that we're gonna utilize that's going to fix that issue. Um, also, you know, I need to tweak the timing. Now, um, like I said before, if you look, if you look, you can see the actual skyline itself. Uh, that's what we're going to be using for this. So, um, yeah, it works out well. Now, I added the doors and stuff. You can see uh, exactly what I'm, what I'm talking about. I opened one up just so I could show you guys the skyline. Um, the truck here, it's, it's good. Now, this is what I'm talking about, blocking it off. Now, we don't need that whole area, okay? We're not going to need them to go outside or up the stairs. You know, just we're going to add one NPC in here. It's going to, you know, just pretty much show them the ropes on how to utilize, you know, and move the controllers and move around and use the headset, stuff like that. Uh, we got these two rooms, these two bathrooms, and uh, then we got the actual office area here. So um, it's going to work out pretty good for what we're, what we're trying to do with it. Now, obviously, that front door is going to be closed, and we'll fill in, you know, some cars coming in and stuff like that. Now, um... From here, you know, they go in, they grab, you know, well, for now, I'm just grabbing the phone, and that's what's, uh, that's what's going to make it to where the, it goes into the next scene. Now, like I said, we're going to use the skyline in here as well, okay, and uh, we're going to close all this off, 
to where all they can do is move around the actual uh, area of this and do the 360 and stuff over here. Now I'm going to add NPCs to get out of the truck as well with them, uh, you know, to act as team members and stuff like that, just to show the capabilities. Like I said, they can go all the way around. Now, um, so once you go inside, I opened up everything. You can take a look around. Uh, we're not going to use this room right here, which is why it's got the stop sign in it. Um, but yeah, there's uh, everything else. You can go in here. There's a laundry room, uh, fireplace, and here's the garage. Um, <laughs> I keep getting lost. All right, um, and then go up the stairs, and once again, you know, here's another room and stuff like this. Now this is the house we're going to burn down. This is going to be the one that, uh, yeah, I got to put the shaders and all that on. All right, so everything's looking really good. Everything's going really smoothly. Uh, everything's going to be nice once we get once once we get it done. So, um, yeah, next steps. Let me turn it off. Next steps are, like I said, all right, we're going to, I'm going to start filling it in with props and NPCs. I'm going to start uh, filling around with the code some more, adding the shaders for the burn effects and the uh, VFX slash particle systems for the flames and smoke and stuff. All right, so um, everything's going good. We're on track. I mean, it's, 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 looking, it's looking top. Uh, as usual, if there's any questions, comments, moans, bitches, complaints, uh, you can call me, uh, text me, uh, anything like that. So I hope everybody had a happy new year, and um, I'm looking forward to, to next week's update. All right, you guys have a great day, and talk to you later.